go. All right, endorphin CrossFit warm up week of 620. We're going to start with some hip circles or swivels. And squeeze your butt as hard as possible. Lock your core down so that we're getting in this posterior position here. And then I'm just nice and slow going to go to the corner of my hips. So I'm going to keep my legs straight all the way forward, all the way back. Nice and slow, five times each direction. Circles getting bigger each time. Then we're going to go down to the mat and we're going to do some fetal position. I'll show it this way. We're going to put our knees together. We're going to be about 90 degrees, our arms out, our head's going to be on the mat. And then we're going to sweep our hand, keeping in contact with the mat the entire time. You'll feel this through your upper body. You're just going to be nice and slow and deliberate. Once I'm here, I'm going to do a clamshell. So I'm going to move my leg out as far as I can, opening up my hip. And go to end range, pull back in, and then I'm going to keep contact with the mat and return my arm to the start position. We're going to do five each direction. After that, you're going to go to some 90-90s or otherwise called hip swivels. You're going to try to keep your butt on the ground and drop your knees. So you'll feel this in your hips. You're going to squeeze your butt as we're doing this. We're going to try to keep our butt down as low as we can so we don't want to be up in the air. We're going to be down here. As soon as I get to the end range of wherever I could go, I'm squeezing the entire time. I'm going to put my hand on my leg and then I'm going to go into a spinal twist. So I'm going to look over my shoulder and then come back, squeeze my butt, bring my legs over, go to the end range, put my hand on my legs, twist out of the upper body, come back. We're going to do that five each side. We're then going to go to a hollow body position. We've changed these up kind of each week. I'll show it from the side. What we're going to do this week is we're going to push our knees together and our feet together. I'm going to squeeze as hard as I can, reach towards my feet, and then my feet come up an inch off the mat. So I'm going to look to have my shoulders off the mat, push my knees together, push my feet together, which is then in turn on my legs and my lower abs here. We're going to hold this for 20 seconds. We're going into a weighted glute bridge. So we've worked you guys up to these. Without weight, it looks like this. With the weight, I'm just gonna put a kettlebell or a dumbbell onto my hips. And then again, go into the same bridge. I'm not gonna overarch. If that is easy, then we're gonna start going to the elevated glute bridges. I'm gonna put my heels up on a bench, whatever's gonna elevate me here. <clears throat> and now I'm just increasing the range of motion. I'm gonna control the eccentrics and the down portion. Uh, but I'm going to hold this for 20 seconds up here. After that, we're going to go to our classic low bear crawl hold. I'll show you from the side. We're going to either have a neutral or a flat back. So neutral would be right about here. Flat back would be right about here. I'm going to take my feet in and then sit back. I'm going to corkscrew my elbows so the pit goes forward. My fingers are splayed. I'm going to hold this for 20 seconds. If this has gotten easy for me, then I'm going to lift the arm up and try to keep my hips nice and level. And if that's easy for me, then I'm gonna try to lift the a leg up too, so that it looks something like this. Once we've done three rounds of 20 seconds of each, we're then going to do 20 steps of low bear crawl. So it's gonna be the same thing that we, I just showed you. Then I'm gonna be here, keep my knees real low, my shoulders down and back, and I'm just gonna take small, slow, deliberate steps and try to keep my hips nice and even. After that, we've primed the pump here on the low bear crawl and the gate pattern, which is just a walking pattern. We're gonna go to skips with runner arms. So I'm gonna skip, and when my leg goes up, my arms gonna go up. So it's gonna go from my hip to my cheek. And that's just what we're looking for. So we're gonna drive up here. We're not gonna reach the sky because we wanna mimic our running now. I'm just gonna be here. We're gonna do 10 steps down, back and forth. And then finally, we're going to finish off with our classic overhead squat therapy. I haven't warmed up my hips enough here, but I'm going to face the wall. I'm going to drive my knees out, keep my chest up as much as possible, get myself down nice and low. And then once I'm here, and most people wind up here, I'm going to drive my knees out, fight to get my chest up, and bring my butt towards the wall. We're going to hold that bad boy for 30 seconds. 